Hey everybody, I'm back. It's been a long time since I've uh, put anything on the channel, but I've been working on getting the wood bed in. Um, so this project kind of uh, combines a couple things I really enjoy, woodworking and metalworking. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So the plan is to build a metal frame initially that's going to sit on top of this one inch tubing that's running all the way around the, the bed and then uh, basically get my wood cut and plane down so I can kind of put the planks on top of that frame and so then it's, it's going to be, I'll kind, of, I'll kind of illustrate how I'm going to attach it to the truck uh, once we get it all kind of uh, built, but I want to make it where I can I can slide it out and um, and get access have access to that cavity in the front there, um, just to put you know tools you know jack various things I can stow up there. Um, but it's going to be open in the back here, um, so I can kind of put things uh, up up under the back of it here. Uh, but I can kind of again sort of slide it out. Um, when I need to so that's kind of the plan. So I've already got my my pieces cut here um, So we're going to get that kind of tacked together and see how it fits in here Got my pieces cut here. I'm just using the one inch tubing for the sides rails and then using a one inch angle uh, To cross to make the crosses over and got these kind of dressed up. So we'll get this um, <clears throat> Tack together here, square it up, and see how it fits the bed. Perfectly square. Alright, so I got it square, let this cool down, then it'll fit in the bed. So here's what's left of the old bed, which is not much. I've got the strips as well, and they're originally painted green, which I really like. Uh, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to find kind of that same color. I'll look. I may go over to the hardware store in a little bit and see if I can find some, some green that's close to that when I paint my new strips, which I'll show you here in a second. So I, I bought some new strips because although some of these strips are in pretty decent sh shape, uh, many of them aren't. So I got a new strip kit here from <clears throat> LMC truck for a short bed flare side. Um, so we're going to get these out here shortly, uh, have a look at them, make sure all the bolt holes are kind of the same as the old strips so I can start to do some layout here and, and figure out where um, I need to weld these cross pieces in here because um, I'm going to put two cross pieces through the center here kind of equally spaced um, and then drill you know drill through these cross pieces these little pieces of angle to um, to bolt the the bed strips down um, 
my plan is to put uh, eight boards across just like the original so there's seven that's a set of seven strips so there'll be eight eight boards across and I'll kind of go through uh, that layout here in a bit so here are the, here's the strip kit so seven pieces each of these are about exactly an inch and a half wide so I got them laid out here I'm just going to shoot some uh, primer on these and then get them paint painted so they can be drawn while I'm working on the wood So I sourced some white oak uh, from a local custom sawmill. So this is four quarter rough sawn white oak. So I think this is going to uh, be a really nice or make a really nice bed. So I've got to get get to work on getting this uh, cut to length and then get it planed down get the dado cut uh, on each side of the board once I get them sized uh, dimensionally uh, there should be about roughly about seven inches wide eight boards I should do it so get the dado cut uh, for the bed strips uh, and then we'll hopefully be getting this bed in here soon
Okay, so I got my center pieces cut here. I got them um, jorted on one face. Uh, and then I uh, ran them through the planer to thickness them all the same. Uh, and then jointed the edges so they're nice and square. And so now I've got to cut the dados on both edges of the top to allow the bed strips to kind of sit down in those. Um, so those are going to be five eighths wide and about a quarter inch deep uh, for the dados. Alright, so we got that one there. You can see the dados on the edges. So I've got um, six of these for the center, and then the two on the sides, they'll only have dado on one side. They're going to come flush with the bed on the other side. I made those a little bit wider. Those are going to be eight inches wide. These are about six and three quarter wide. Um, and once I get it all in there, I'll show you kind of why um, I'm doing it that way. All right, so the edge of the dado is quite sharp, so I'm just going to take a block plane uh, and just plane off the edges here just to kind of smooth it up a little bit where, um, where those strips, <coughs> the metal strips are going to hit uh, in the bed there. a little camphor, chamfer there, just so it's not quite so sharp. So then I'll take them down and test fit them to make sure everything fits like I like it. And then the last thing we'll do is we'll cut them to dimension. Should be about, I think it's 70, 78 inches. I've, all these boards I've got them cut right now, rough cut, uh, 80 inches. So it seems to take a couple inches off each end. And I think we'll be ready to put them in tomorrow. So I've got the dados cut in my boards here, uh, and so the length of my frame is 78 inches. So now I'm going to um, cut the, the length on them. So I'm going to square them up, measure 78 inches, and then cut them off.
So with the radial arm saw, you can get a really nice, good uh, square cut on these. All right, so I laid all the boards out here and got them rubbed down with some leftover Thompson's Water Seal Timber Oil that I had laying around and didn't use. So not really the color I was hoping for, but I mean, they turned out nice. I mean, I'm happy with them. It just I guess I'd prefer them to be a little bit more weather looking because they're going to match the rest of the truck, but they'll come with time. I just wanted to protect the wood, so this should do it, and hopefully they'll kind of fade in the sun over the years and kind of gray out a good bit, um, kind of match the rest of the truck. So I'll uh, get to working on the frame here, get the holes drilled for the strips, uh, get that primered and painted, and we'll be ready to um, get them bolted down. Wipe off the excess oil and we'll be good to go. So the frame's finished and it's bed linered. And you can see I've got the holes drilled in it as well for the rails or the bed strips already. So about to get the wood actually on it. I got all my fasteners. Uh, I'm just using uh, just regular zinc, zinc coated fasteners. I'm not going to spend the money on on the uh, stainless steel things because again it's not really going to match the truck um, so I'll show you here real quickly where the frame's going to sit um, obviously it's going to sit on this strip right here and I'll probably just put a little bit of lithium grease or something there so when I slide it in and out um, it'll slide in and out well and then I've welded uh, some nuts here on the corners and I've welded them, you know, kind of in um, every corner, the front corners there, uh, and then the back. And so, what well, my plan is, is I'll drill a hole all the way through the wood, and then use uh, these eye, eye bolts that'll screw all the way down through. I'm going to weld a washer kind of on the, up here on the neck of it, and that'll go all the way down through the wood into this bolt. Um, and that'll do two things. That'll keep the frame from kind of the whole thing from rattling around because it'll be kind of secured uh, and then also this is going to give me kind of some some hooks you know for um, securing cargo and the bed as well so I'll have one in all four corners all right let's get the wood on the frame so it's a beautiful cool fall day here in Alabama and my wood has dried the oil soaked in pretty well so I've got my frame uh, up here on the stand that I built way back when that I used to uh, set the cab on and uh, I'm just starting in the center here just dropping uh, the bolts uh, ever so often in the metal strips here just to kind of hold everything in place while I get the wood in and that way I can kind of reach you know reach under here and uh, put the fasteners on while it's on this stand so we'll uh, get this thing assembled All right, got all the strips in, got all the bolts in, and it turned out really nice. Very happy with how it looks. Um, it's really heavy now, which is kind of nice. I've got this stand because it's almost at the same level um, that I need it to be to slide in the bed. So it's going in. Hope it fits. Oh, gosh. something I wanted to put a little bit of grease kind of on the track um, so it slides in and out really well um, so let me get some wheel bearing grease and I'll be right back I said wheel bearing grease but I meant lithium grease
happy with that. I've got to get a little protective strip to put back here, kind of on the edge to kind of finish that off. Not sure what that'll be, but. I'll work something out. Yeah, it can fit. Nice. Slides out pretty easily. Good access to the cavity in the front here. I'll just put some jacks, tools, whatever there. My moonshine. All right. So now I got the bed in. It's taking me a long time to get that done. Pretty excited about that. Uh, I've got to get. Um, zoom up a little bit here. Hope you can still hear me. Um, so now that I got the bed done, it's going to be time to hopefully start working on the interior. I'd like to get the interior finished, um, but you know, I've just been driving the truck. Uh, probably drive it about four to five times a week, I would say. Um, since I tore the Crown Vic down and built the truck, I probably put about 11,000 miles on the chassis. Um, it was about 136,000 when I bought, <clears throat> bought the car, and I got about 147,000 on it now. So, um, just, it's just so much fun to drive. I really encourage y'all to consider these if, you're, if you've been thinking about doing a swap with your old F100. Um, really happy I, I did the full frame on it instead of just the, the subframe in the front. Um, I haven't really done a lot other uh, uh, else to the truck. Just Like I said, just been driving it. Um, and it's just uh, it's been a lot of fun taking it to some cars and coffee, kind of cruise-ins and that kind of thing. Get a lot of questions about it. You know, it's great to talk to people that are interested in these kind of things and um, kind of share some of our <clears throat> share some of our wisdom and stuff. So, um, anyway, it's been a while since I've had an episode on the channel. So, um, thanks for hanging in there and um, watching this episode. And hopefully, there'll be some more episodes coming up uh, pretty soon on uh, finishing the interior. Uh, I've got some ideas for that. And I've uh, been, been sort of mulling, on, mulling over, so hopefully that'll be going in soon. And then uh, I think she'll be officially done. So, again, thanks for watching. Hope you all um, are safe and well out there. We'll see you next time.